Oh, you talked about uh, President Buhari seeking for a third term. You said there are reports about that. Um, is there any truth to that rumor? Can we actually hold it and say, yes, the man is actually seeking for a third term in office? No, no, because uh, he himself has already, a statement has come from the, uh, from the presidency that he is not seeking a third, uh, a third tenure. But uh, there are very recognized um, voices uh, coming from the north that are saying that they want uh, a, third, uh, a third term for the north. So what I'm saying is that you cannot disregard that. It doesn't have to be President Buhari. It can be somebody else. And so if another northerner wants to vie for the position of, uh, of president, it is not acceptable because um, uh, Buhari has done eight years of two tenures and it must revert back, uh, back to, the, uh, to the south. So one, I cannot say categorically that Buhari said because I've not heard that he said. If anything, I've heard that he has denied that he wants to go for, uh, for, third, uh, for third term. But there is no denial whatsoever that the north is uh, seeking for a third, uh, a third term in 2023. They've said it uh, uh, continuously, so there is no d dispute on that. Okay. Um, you also talked about how the South should actually sit up and how they should be awakened uh, to the fact that they, uh, their cities might be overrun. And you also made mention about uh, presidency come 2023, presidency or referendum. In your own opinion, what, which of them do you think the South needs? Referendum or the presidency? Um, uh, first of all, the, uh, the first question of the, the concern that we have and should have of having uh, a place like River State, for instance, we cannot wake up one morning in River State, in Niger Delta, in Abonima, I don't know where you're from, in my community, I would be horrified to wake up one morning and find that strangers are more than me in my community. But what we are worried about and should be concerned about is that what is happening today with freedom of movement as the constitution allows uh, in this country that people are free to move. If you're a Nigerian, you're free to move to anywhere and live anywhere and work anywhere. Yeah. Yes, that is constitutional. But what is what will be unconstitutional and unprecedented is if you wake up one morning and find that <laughs> strangers in your in your community are more than you. And what we're saying is that there is the possibility that that can happen. Two, um, if we we look at the fact that the president has said that every or any african can get up and come to nigeria that you don't need a visa that passport. means that or even passport, passport that yes. that means that when you get to the border they will just open border for you so it means that i can wake up one morning and find more people in port Harcourt than are the original owners of port Harcourt. The, the 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 demograph of the place will be changed overnight it has not happened anywhere. If it happens, it's an invasion. Yes. If it happens, it's a takeover. And that's what we, uh, I am calling the Niger Delta Self-Determination Movement is pointing this out to the Niger Delta people. Now, on the, uh, on the second um, question. Uh, question of... What was that second question? Um, I asked, what do you think the Niger Delta need? A referendum okay. or the presidency? The, uh, see, we don't need presidency. Uh, Jonathan uh, had just finished... Uh, four years and one year. I don't know where they're getting the six and eight or whatever they are calculating, but people should learn how that one plus one is two. So one plus five, uh, I mean one plus four is, uh, is five. So Jonathan did only five years of presidency. So let's keep that one aside. As Niger Delta people, we should not be asking for the remaining three years of a four-year tenure. So what will you do with the extra one year? Yeah. That is a distraction against the Niger Delta people. And any Niger Delta person that is pushing that uh, should, should be asked questions by Niger Delta people. We don't want the presidency. What we want is a restructured Nigeria. Now, it is very clear that the, the APC political party, the governing go uh, party, does not, it has said, and even the president has said that he does not believe in restructuring. They don't want to, today they want to restructure, tomorrow they don't want to restructure. So it's confusing. So we want a restructured Nigeria one. If we do not have, and there is all the indication that they will resist restructuring 
until the end of uh, 2023. So if they are resisting restructuring, we must be ready to make a decision at a particular time, whether it is in 2020 or 2021, I will prefer 2020, that we make up our mind that since restructuring is not feasible, let us demand for a referendum. A referendum will determine each person, if you're uh, an Ijo man, you are an Ikwere man, you are an Ogoni man, you are an Ishekiri man, you ask yourselves in your community, what do you want? And then let the people decide what they want. It is from what the people say that the next step can be taken. If the, the majority say, we want to stay in Nigeria, let Nigeria continue to take our resources, let this happen, let that happen, then let it be so. Some people that don't want it that way will excuse themselves from that situation. Okay, okay madam. Sorry, let me chip in. Uh, from the calculation we just did now, four plus one, five years, mm. could it be that this, this calculation that maybe some uh, senators or some National Assembly members are suggesting for a six-year, one tenor term for National Assembly members and presidency, though it has suffered some setback at the National Assembly? Mm. If we remember, the person that suggested that was actually seriously suggested that six tenure something was Jonathan. Jonathan first suggested it. There is nothing wrong in four year tenure, six year tenure, five year tenure, any tenure. What is wrong is the policies that is within that one year or six years or whatever. It doesn't matter how many years it is. If you're not doing well, you're not doing well. If you stay six years and you are not done well, if you stay 12 years, you may not do well. It be, because it depends on the policy. It depends on what you want to come and do in the country. But what we're saying about restructuring, what we're saying about changing the policies and the, gov and, and the style of governance in Nigeria is that if we have a governance that gives, allows the right thing to be done. What is the right thing? Why should they come and take the resources of River State and take it to the center and then be paying salaries for a state that cannot pay salary? Why should Nigeria create states that are not viable? You created, there are states that cannot generate enough funds without the oil to pay salaries to even run their government. Why did you create those states? You created those states because you're sharing Niger Delta oil. Now, we have a situation today where the, gov the president has said that solid minerals, states that own solid minerals, can go ahead, the governors can go ahead and explore and exploit those, those solid minerals, but not oil and gas. Why is that? So that is what we're saying that we want a restructured Nigeria that will give us the right to use our resources to develop ourselves. Let federal government say they want to tax us 50% or they want to tax us whatever percent. We will argue if it is comfortable for us. That is okay. And we will argue if it is not comfortable for us. That it is not okay. But we must rise up and make changes. I mean, I'm surprised that the victims in all of these political intrigues are the Niger Delta people. And yet, we are yet to see a serious rising of both politicians of the Niger Delta region, of the electorate of the Niger Delta region, serious rising, intellectual rising, an argument that will say no, my brothers, this thing is no longer right and it cannot be acceptable anymore. You have a, 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 a chairman of the uh, university commission in Nigeria. His son is going to, is attending school in the UK and graduating in the UK. And he is sitting as a, a director or whatever of the university commission in Niger. That, so whose children is he, is he planning that will attend those universities that is not good enough for his children? But if we have our resources, then we can get the best of education here in River State because we don't have to educate other people with, uh, uh, with our money. I went to primary school here in, um, here in, um, in River 